An entertaining and skillful forward, Busby makes the list primarily on account of his goal-scoring contribution en route to Wembley in 75. Two in the third round, two in the fourth and two in the fifth. No Busby, no cup final. Fulham really do seem to be enjoying the atmosphere of a big crowd at uh, Goodison. Conway finding Barrett. It's a useful looking run and it's come loose and Busby is there! Fulham are in the lead! Buzz was a good player, excellent player. He was capable of um, scoring some great spectacular goals. Maybe you might remember one against Cardiff here. We were, I think he beat half the team and then half the team again and, and scored a great goal. But he was also capable of missing them from two yards. Um, but an excellent player to play with, and I think him and Mitch together were, were a good partnership. When you go back in Evans' history, uh, they've been a fantastic football club, but that was probably one of the biggest disasters they've ever come across, which was an average second division side, i.e. Fulham, you know, beating them on their own patch and completely outplaying them when they were a very, very good team. And turn the defence. Biff Busby is there. And he's been given the time to turn and he's used it quite brilliantly. Long ball, Gallagher is ahead of Very him. quick, extremely fast. Uh, you know, trouble. if you got balls into space, you know, Viv would be uh, so quick getting there. But and he had this eye for a goal as well. He wasn't as prolific as a Graham Leggett or, or Johnny Haynes or, or uh, you know, anybody else that was prolific in those days. You know. um, Gordon Davis, nowhere near Gordon Davis as a goal scorer, but he would score you important goals.